Book of Henry is one of the damnedest films to come out this year and really any year. Uh, this is a very strange drama, fairly low budget too, directed by Colin Trevorrow, who will be directing Star Wars Episode Nine uh, in next year or two years from now. Excuse me. So basically, what the film is about is it stars uh, Jaden Lieberher, who's going to be one of the main cast members in the upcoming remake of Stephen King's It, uh, as this child, this really precocious young 11-year-old who basically takes over the role of being the man of his house. He lives with his single mother, played by Naomi Watts, and does most of the accounting and management, and he also lives with his uh, younger brother, Peter, played by Jacob Tremblay. So the film really revolves around this kid initially and how he basically does everything for his mother. Again, balances finance, the, the finances of the house, uh, trades stocks and stuff, a bunch of these ridiculous things, and the mother just goes along with it, kind of spends her day playing video games she's like a barely adequate parent okay so then what happens then is the kid is Henry the, the kid played by Lieberher winds up getting a like an onset brain tumor after get, experiencing a lot of different um you know headaches and blurry vision and stuff like that so he the, the, before he went to the hospital they wound up looking at uh they wound up like um, observing their neighbor's behavior and their one neighbor played by Dean Norris uh, he's got a stepdaughter, and there's a little bit of uh, reason to believe that he has been abusing his stepdaughter. So once the Henry is in the hospital, he winds up telling his mother to look at this book that he wound up that he wrote that has a plan with how to deal with this allegedly abusive stepfather. That's all I'm really gonna have. Uh, I'm gonna go into this. I don't really want to spoil it. At the same time, I kind of do uh, talk about this because this movie is absolute lunacy, absolute lunacy. On uh, because for the first hour, for the first 45 minutes or so, it's like this kind of trite, uh, you know, very saccharine family drama. That's all right. It reminds me a lot of Gifted, uh, the film that came out with uh, Chris Pine a few um, months ago and stuff like that. Uh, it came out, uh, that came out, and um, it wasn't too bad. It was a decent film. It was Chris Evans, excuse me. I knew I was kind of blanking on that one. It was a Chris Evans movie. That was okay, but then we get to this, like, the second half of the film, which turns into, like, this very odd thriller that involves the mother being um, being instructed by her by her son to carry out this plan that she doesn't even really know about. And then at the end, it winds up settling on this, like, blanket more that winds up being this like complete revelation to Naomi Watts's character when the whole audience should be thinking the whole time yes he's just a child you know what I mean it's it, it, it's it's almost too much for words which is why I highly encourage you instead of watching this subpar video review highly encourage you to uh, read the written review link below uh, because I want to dive into this more I want I dive into it more I want to talk about more um more of just the stranger circumstances. It's got a good supporting cast. Uh, Bobby Moynihan's really good in it. Sarah Silverman's pretty good in it. But overall, this is a very strange, uh, fairly original, but very strange drama. I give Book of Henry a D plus, two out of four stars. It's totally jarring. It's got way too many problems to recommend, but it is it is occasionally uh, pretty pretty fun to watch. I'll give it that. I'm Steve Pulaski. You can catch all my video reviews on YouTube and all my written reviews at stevethemovieman.proboards.com and influxmagazine.com.